Robbie, if you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're such an expert, and then we're going to jump into some of these questions. Yeah, I'd love to. So Cyrus and I, uh, we joined forces in 2017. That's when we officially launched Mastering Diabetes. And prior to that, you know, we were both had our own coaching practices, our own like careers in this in this space. But you know, uh, it's my my personal experience living with type one diabetes that led me to go dig into the research. Right. So uh, the whole premise of what we do at Mastering Diabetes is to help people maximize their insulin sensitivity, and we we really focus on maximizing because you know a lot of people you could make some small changes and you could potentially get rid of type two diabetes with some small changes. And that's great. Right. But some people need to take it a step further, right? Some, depending on you, the insulin production that you have, like what's left. So some people like we, we serve people on the range of what they're looking for. Um, but this whole game of maximizing insulin sensitivity, my personal experience as um, and I don't know what the right word is. It's, it's, it's even mind boggling to myself sometimes. I mean, truly, truly to apply the principles that we've learned in the research and to see how insulin sensitive I can be when you stack all those behaviors together is truly mind boggling. Like a, you know, a, lo- a person living with, we wrote about this in our book, right? A person living with uh, type one diabetes following a ketogenic low carb diet. Okay over a 24 hour period, they will need one unit of insulin for every one gram of glucose they consume, right? That's a one-to-one ratio. This is documented published research of people doing a, like, like it's like a Bernstein style diet. Okay. Very low carb. Okay. Then you go look at the approach that Cyrus and I are doing, right? There are days where I will, of the total insulin, we're talking basal plus bolus, total insulin. I will be using one unit for every like 30, 40 grams. Wow. Like the, the magnitude of difference is wow. just mind boggling. And, and the, you know, I'll be posting on Instagram, these meals that I'm eating and I'm like, okay, for this meal, it's going to be 200 grams of carbohydrate. And, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to inject at like a 75 to one ratio. Whereas like a typical standard American diet, like American diabetes association, standard of care would be to inject it like 10 to one, eight to one The keto people are like one to one, right? Like, so this, this experience, like this personal experience, and it's not like just something that was in the past, right? This is something that as a type one, I literally experience every single day, like every day, every meal, it's just getting reiterated to me. Wow. Like these lifestyle choices make you insulin sensitive. And I can see which ones make me a little bit less insulin sensitive. Instead of injecting at 75 to one, maybe I, the last two days of fitness weren't as intense. Now I'm injecting at 30 to one, right? Mm-hmm. Sleep as well. Maybe I did have a little bit too much avocado the night before. Okay. I'll see the impact the next day. Like no big deal. We can adjust. We can go on with life, but to just see our teachings in my own body, like day after day after day is very reinforcing, gets me excited but the work that we do for people with all forms of diabetes, right? Doesn't matter what type you have. You're living with gestational diabetes right now because you're pregnant and your blood glucose is where, higher than it should be. Whether you're living with type 1, type 1.5, pre-diabetes, type 2, it doesn't matter. We all want to maximize our insulin sensitivity for optimal health. And that's what we do at Mastering Diabetes. And, and like you said, Dr. Miller, like I, I do enjoy the nuances. I, I've been wearing a CGM now for... Gosh, I think it's like over 10 years at this point. Um, so I, I got that continuous glucose monitor data that's helping in the, uh, you know, see the differences in certain decisions I'm making. Uh, you know, you recently helped me get set up with the Omnipod 5 pump, which has been a great experience to be able to use smaller doses, right? When I was doing multiple daily injections, I could only inject a half a unit. That's the smallest amount. Now I can inject 0.05, not just, not just 0.1. I can do 0. 0.05. Like, wow, it's, it's, it's really fun. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's just a lot of nuances, a lot of nuances to diabetes. There's a lot of nuances to um, the transition. The transition is a big thing. Like, okay, you're just starting out. You're very insulin resistant. 
you start following the master of Abby's method, you're not going to become insulin sensitive overnight. There's going to be some hiccups and some ups and some downs along the journey of becoming more insulin sensitive. What things can we do to make those bumps a little bit less rough, right? How can we sort of like stabilize with some, some tricks, some, some nuances, some yeah. it, it really stuff that's obviously it's all mentioned in science, but like there's so many things you can do. And when you stack them all together, it's just an incredible, incredible.